Hello and welcome to Kodokat Mets. The Mets crashed and burned in Atlanta, leaving them at this season's low point and really defining what it's like to be a lifelong Met fan. The Mets were a midweek Greek tragedy in Atlanta, blowing scoring chances and leads as the sweep featured the Braves coming back from being at least three runs down to win all three games in the series in come-from-behind fashion, heartbreaking fashion, crushing fashion, for Mets fans like me. This was the first time in our 62-year history that the Mets lost three consecutive games that they had led by three runs or more. Not a new record you want to set. This agonizing series saw three straight Mets starters squander the lead and then the bullpen lose the game with Cookie Carrasco crumbling in game one, Drew Smith taking the loss, then Mad Max melting before Ottavino gave up the game, and then Verlander going only three innings in a game the Mets had to have. Despite Nimmo's first career grand slam and Francisco Alvarez's two dingers in the finale, the Mets let the game get away. David Robertson nearly gets the strikeout on this questionable check swing, and on the very next pitch, in classic Metsy fashion, the Braves tie the game. You can see Robertson's reaction. This sends this classic game into extras. The Mets cannot score against the Braves' closer, and they ask Tommy Hunter to hold on to the tie. He's able to get two outs, but against Ozzie Albies, the game is lost. Along the way, the Braves really just crushed the Mets' spirits, injuring Pete Alonso, and the Mets had won 122 straight games when leading after eight innings, but that streak dashed, and they've now dropped six in a row for the first time since 2019. Mets fall to 30-33, and 33, eight and a half games behind Hot Lana, and head to Pittsburgh desperately trying to turn things around. The season is is teetering, but with 99 games left, there still is the wild card, and we've seen wild card teams get hot and make runs, and last year's 101 wins didn't amount to much, so maybe it's not the end of the world, but it feels like that classic Metsy. This has been Kotocat Mets. If you like this video and you love the Mets, please subscribe. And then we'll sing. Let's fucking go Mets. Let's go Mets!